Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Listen, uh, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. We got the sun. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the Midwest. It's funny. I'm listening to the news and they're going, it's a beautiful day. It's going to hit 50. Uh, that's what's crazy about <laughs> living in the Midwest. Y'all, y'all that's in California, y'all don't, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't, y'all don't appreciate good sunshine. It's like just a Tuesday for you guys. Hey, if you're new to the page, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. I may put the glasses back on. The sun is shining right in my face. Uh, but I want to talk to you guys about something. Okay. Let me, let me readjust this. I want to talk to you guys about something. Okay. Um, I want to go over what's happening uh, with the market real briefly. And as you guys know, it's Sunday. I will give my inspiration at the end. I do not apologize for being inspirational. It is who I am and it's what I love to do. And it is uh, part of the reason why I, I actually created this page, not just for financial news or stocks. Okay. All right, so we're in a we're in a phase now. The sun is down. Where good news is good news again, right? So it was that when good news came out, it was bad news. Meaning, if we were showing strength in the economy, if we were showing that um, 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 unemployment was uh, you know jobs added was more and unemployment was lowering, that was giving the Fed more runway to increase interest rates, which was negative for the stock market. You guys remember that? And so now we're getting this data now and the stock market, just like on Friday, it reacted. It was just kind of shrugged it off. And now we're going to get back to where good news is good news, right? A strong economy actually makes the market goes up. Remember, for those of you that's been investing for a while, that's the way it used to be. But there was a pivot because of the Fed going on his interest rate hike tour. Um, the Fed has never raised this much, this many times uh, in the history of the stock market. A lot of you guys don't know that. And so now we're looking for the Fed to what start cutting rates. And uh, some people think that that's when the recession is going to happen. I believe that that's when we're going to see a all clear shortly thereafter. And I believe that the stock market will actually start to climb again. Uh, we had jobs, 199,000 jobs were uh, added. Unemployment fell to 3.7%. Consumer sentiment hit uh, uh, high levels again. Um, and most expect inflation to be about 3.1% in the next year, right? Uh, most expect the Fed to cut rates. And I'm going to say right now, remember, these are just, you know what an estimation is? Well, this is a guesstimation. I, I believe we still could have a Christmas rally. Man, this market is showing itself to be resilient. It is showing itself to be um, uh, just, it doesn't matter what good news or bad news hits it. It still continues to be strong. And it is in, it's incredible what the market is doing in spite of the uh, geopolitical situations, you know, uh, not to even get into that. Uh, we do know that we got an election year coming up. All of that stuff is going to weigh on the market. But so far, the market has just been just pushing through all of the negative news and reacting positively, even when the bad news comes out. Right. Like with yesterday, it was good news with the jobs, but you would have thought that the market would have went down, especially being a Friday. And the market did yo-yo, but it came back strong and had a strong close. You guys that are in the crypto mining stocks, man, make sure you watch the video that's going to be in a box here because those crypto miners just took off. They were extremely bullish, man. And uh, at, at close, they just ran up, you know, uh, one of them by over 20 percent. You know, it is it's just crazy the gains that we have had with these crypto mining companies. OK, so um, that is my kind of brief update. We're going to look forward to Monday 
and uh, see what the market is going to do. I mean, we we are in the the time period of the Christmas rally. It really starting Monday right now. Retail is going to play a big part of that. So let's keep our eyes and ears on retail. But this one, <laughs> this this time, it's just a little different. It's just doing its its own thing, right? So uh, I'm going to play a video for you guys that I made when I started this journey. This is my inspirational, okay? And uh, I'm going to say, say this. I, I got a few bullet points because I just wanted to cover everything, right? Excuse these allergies. Do not despise small beginnings. Do not despise small beginnings. Now, I'm going to play for you a short clip. I think it's like 30 seconds of a video that I made when I first started this journey and I had just under 17,000 subscribers. But my message is be consistent and do not despise small beginnings. So you have to start somewhere. You know, the saying is, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And it is true. If you start on the journey, especially for those that are in investing, uh, or in businesses, or you want to do something extraordinary, extraordinary, or you want to change um, the family curses, the financial family curses, all right, um, uh, generational curses, then you have to do something. I always say, if you want things to change drastically, then you must first drastically change, okay? And so, Look at this video. I found this video and I tell you, I choked up when I watched it. Check this video out. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the last 28 days. Today is August 7th. I have 13.8 views. And uh, no, so, yeah, 13. 1,759 views in the last 28 days. I got 54 subscribers, six less than usual. I got a whopping $23.85 in the last 28 days. And my revenue, my playback CPM is $6.11 and my RPM is $1. 80 a dollar 80 all right so i want to double this cpm and double this rpm that's what i want to do i want to get this monthly this 28 to a minimum of a hundred dollars per month and i want to get my overall subscribers from sixteen thousand eight. 55 to 20,000 by the end of the year. And so here we are now with over 600 and uh, with over 600,000 followers. Uh, there are some months where I get a million. There's many months where I get a million views and you guys saw the numbers. It's crazy. But, and you guys saw the pay. The reward is not instant. You guys saw the pay. You, you saw that pay, that was a monthly, you know, under a hundred dollars a month, about $25 of a month's worth of work. And that's the way the stock market goes. You can be dollar cost averaging, let's say into VOO or VTI, and you don't see it automatically. Or you may be dollar cost averaging into good companies for a whole year and you don't see it. But what happens is over a period of time, over a period of years, it pays off big. So I'm going to say again, do not despise small beginnings because the other part of that says right behind that, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. For the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Uh, that's Zechariah 4.10. I want you guys to read the whole story so you could see where the, the uh, put it in its proper content. But context, but I want you guys to just take that word with you. Do not despise small beginning beginnings. For those of you that, that are not that spiritual, that's cool. I just want you to, I'm going to say, 
open up to your spirituality, okay? I'm going to say tap in to your spirit. We're not just flesh. We're mind, body, soul, and spirit, okay? And so I want you to understand that you have to get it in your spirit first. You know, I always say the heart has an eyes. The heart has eyes because it says, the word says, as a man thinketh in his heart. As a man thinketh in his heart. So you got to think it first because your mind is a gateway to your heart. And so that's why, you know, this may sound hokey pokey to some of you guys, but I dare you, I double dare you to try it and watch it manifest. So I'm going to tell you guys that are starting, do not despise small beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the beginning. All right. For the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. All right. And I want you to rejoice. I want you to start investing long term. And the soon as you get your uh, your program or what your system is to build generational wealth, soon as you get those building blocks set up, I want you to rejoice. And I want you to rejoice just because you began. Somebody wants to write a book. That's fine. Somebody wants to, to do this on YouTube. Start. Just do it. Be like Nike. Just do it. And then soon as you do it, all you need is consistency. But be happy. For those of you that are struggling financially, start not only saving, but investing in good, solid companies and then rejoice that you at least started. And if you're smart, you would put it on automatic, set it and forget it. Automatic deposits from your bank into your uh, broker and then automatic buys into the stocks that you want to build generational wealth. Good companies. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it right there, man. It, 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 you know, it, man, sometimes I, I, I go and I, I look for small pages and why do I look for small pages? I look for small pages to bless. I used to, I used to wonder, like, I wonder if a big page when I had, you know, 5,000 subscribers, I wonder if a big page ever watches my page and see what I'm doing here or if they would like it, or if they would, you know, shout me out. And um, um, I found a small page that was doing crypto mining companies. And I think, I think, uh, and I began to consume some of his videos. And I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm going to put him on blast. I'm going to help to blow his page up. I don't know him from Joe Blow, but I looked at his content. And I think that is something that will benefit the family. So, Every now and then I put a small page on blast in a good way. No time for negativity. I will never use another man's back to elevate myself. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there because man, that's so much I could go into. My mind is just racing it's so much, but we're going to continue these Sundays, continue to hit the like, subscribe and notification bell only if you are new and continue to hit the like button. If you've been rolling with me for a while, all right? Uh, yesterday was my anniversary and uh, wanted to say happy anniversary to my beautiful and supporting wife. And um, I love you guys. We'll see you Monday. Live, love, laugh and learn.